little observation here as I'm getting ready to do the other side of the door. If you see this light spot up here, that was an area that I sanded um, because when I was first putting the lifetime stuff on there, it appeared like it wasn't soaking in completely. And it was this whole area here. I sand that down. It looks pretty good overall, except for just this one spot, um, which means I didn't get down deep enough into whatever was causing that not to take. So um, clearly, you can identify areas where it's not taking early and deal with it. But overall, the door looks pretty good if focusing is still being a little bit of a problem. All right. Little thing to note. Um, don't know how big deal this will be to people, but so when I applied this on the other side of the door. It uh, was laying down like this, and that caused it to soak through, as you can see at various places where between the boards. So I'm going ahead and I'm just sanding that down before I apply the layer on the back, and we'll see how that goes. This is one run with a couple sheets of sandpaper on a block sander. Obviously, didn't get all the way down, but I'm actually impressed with how much this stuff soaks through. Uh, I think I got enough of uh, it I'm gonna try applying now I'm gonna try applying a little bit differently because I was remembering something that I discovered when doing the furniture with the uh, vinegar and fine steel wool iron acetate so I'm gonna see how well that works I'm gonna actually use a little cotton towel over there as my applicator and hopefully we won't have nearly as much waste and stuff just dripping all over the place that way all right. One layer done with a cloth. Cloth. I'm letting it dry a little bit. See if there's any light spots that need sanded. Um, I sanded all over this on this side. All right. I mean, you can see the color change is just fantastic again. Um, there's my white cloth. So this clearly does stain uh, things. I would say. I don't know how easily that wash out. But the nice thing with this. So here I can, you know, wipe it over. And this is probably a little bit less wrung out than I've done. I was doing it most of it with. If you have some spot that you identify where you didn't get enough, you just, you know, get a little extra soak in and then wipe it off with a cloth. Which is, I'm thinking about doing my upstairs, uh, my loft floors with this. So if I do that, why well, I like this method is I don't have to worry about dripping through to the downstairs so much. So I'll give this a minute to dry and see if we see any light spots. Still drying and drying very quickly in direct sun. But I've noticed there's one spot about right, see how it shows up in the camera, right there below that knot. So I'm going to buff that area and around that knot real quick, a little up here, and then do some more application. I did that. See, it's still kind of bright. That might be actually natural color. The way I realized it was trying to sand it down uh, in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back in, hang it back up, and see how it comes along. Now, um, with this application like this with the cloth, this is just going on. I know this works for furniture with a similar type of uh, treatment. I'm not sure if that would work as well for the outside. I mean, since you can spray this stuff on, it should. Uh, you might just, you know, I, I, it wouldn't necessarily be necessary. Although, again, if you're touching up, you could probably avoid some of that stuff that I got like that where... I got basically brush splatters. So, anyways, we'll see how that works out. So I'm gonna give it a little while, see how much if stuff fades in together. I discover I can sand it a little bit down. Didn't do much, but uh, you could buff out differences a little. But I don't want to overdo that. So, anyways, um, like I said, I'm gonna let this side, which should be most exposed to the sun for a while, because this is the south end. Uh, develop and see how it develops and mess with it from there and uh, I don't know if this will all be one video or if I'll add this to something else later but just kind of wanted to record as I go so I have it